What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be making a Roblox status update with my friend again. You all know him, you all love him. His name is... Vex. Alright, so um, yeah, if you guys are wondering why do you want to make a Roblox status update, it's because I am super bored right now, and you know, I, I, I haven't had much video ideas in the last couple of days, so I'm going to be making a commentary video with this game called Phantom Horses in the Backgrounds, you guys should really check it out. Anyways, I'm going to be talking. So, Roblox's status is currently... It isn't the best it's right gone. now. Yeah. It could be better, but, um... Roblox's status isn't doing good. Right? Because the games that people used to play are getting less players. For example, Phantom Forces. I remember everybody used to play this game back in the day. And that this is all people used to play, you know. So, yeah, this game used to be all people used to play, but then it got dumped. It, it was like Arsenal. And every single good game that people think is good gets dumped by 50% of its player base. Now, Roblox, I, I think the problem is that Roblox needs more devs. Roblox needs more people to create good games. But the thing is, is that they are, and nobody is playing them. Remember when I, when I told you guys that Aimblocks was a good game? Yeah, the thing is, is that, well, it was, but it just started dying out. And it didn't get fun to me anymore since the challenge of just, since the RNG in the game. It's massive RNG. Even Diggs could tell you the reason why he doesn't like Aimblocks anymore. Go ahead. Uh, so the reason uh, I didn't like game block anymore was because the entire game was based off of one system and that was rolling crates. And rolling crates to like win the game, like when we still played it, it was basically roll crates. And if you didn't roll something good, basically the entire game would be like done for you. Like if you didn't roll anything good, I know it was easy to roll stuff, but uh, if you didn't roll something good, if you uh, were quite unlucky and you only wrote stuff like the crossbow or something, uh, then you would be very unlucky and you would probably not win a lot of matches. Yes, exactly. And also, like, it, and every single other mode that wasn't own guns was not fun. It just wasn't. So, that's why Aimblocks isn't fun anymore. The next game that we used to like, which we still like, but it's not as good anymore, was Bed Wars. Bed Wars is an amazing game. Just it has made some pretty three bad updates, which including this Trinity update. They made things impossible to mine, and I think it's just my opinion, but, um, you know. I, I actually, Dakes is the first person who mentioned this to me of how bad the update was since he told me before i played it what was it what was that you said um i said that the update has completely ruined the game because it made it impossible to break things mm -hmm. it made it impossible to rush which was the only way that you could get well early game early game armor and early game anything you can't you can't get even get an early game win yeah, like an early game kill if you don't rush the enemy next to you you need to rush the enemy next to you but the thing is they made it so that i think you all know that in bed wars axes break beds quite fast they made it so that a wooden axe takes four hits to break a bed which is just one less than what a wooden pickaxe took to break a bed in an update before which was, it was just kind of stupid, depending on the fact that, like, it just, it's kind of dumb how it takes that long to break a bed with an axe now. And it's like, they want us to not rush. Which, but the thing is, is that's the point of the game. You have to rush. And if you just stay in the fend, then the, and then the team next to you is going to rush. If two, if two teams don't rush, and then they're going to have trouble problems getting materials and if you're just not getting materials at all you're gonna lose the game 
So, that's why the game is not balanced anymore. It just has one standard thing to do. So, it's a good game, but we're going to put it aside for now. Now, there's Arsenal. This is a controversial one since this game has been talked about a lot through the Roblox community. It's still a good game, but I feel like it's not the same anymore. Now, even the thing is about Arsenal, it it has died. Okay, I it has died a little, but it's lost quite a bit of player base in the last few months I would say and since the summer update the game has just been getting like random population spikes like up down up down up down it's just not been the same dicks can even tell you why arsenal isn't the same and like he knows the reasons he knows everything why arsenal isn't the same we even agreed on it once so dicks go ahead so, uh, the thing with Arsenal is that the gameplay is quite repetitive. There's not that much flavor in the game. I, I mean, I know that's what FPS games are, except the thing is, is that basically the only real flavor in the game is getting gun skins now and stuff like that. Other than that, there's a couple game modes which are just the best, and then there's the ones that are just the worst. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Arsenal doesn't have a great community since every time me and Dakes play it, we're just like, vote Legacy competitive, vote Legacy competitive, and they're just voting for something stupid like gun rotation. I, I have no idea why they just choose that. Gun rotation, out of all things to vote. So... Yeah, those are the games on Roblox that have been popping off recently and have been doing good. Now, we're going to go to some mainstream games or RP games. Adopt Me. I think everybody knows what I'm about to say. Adopt Me's bad. Literally, Dix hasn't even played it much and he knows all the reasons why it's bad. You can go ahead. So Adopt Me is just in our personal opinions, but Adopt Me has had a lot of work on it, but considering the gameplay and stuff for um, a very long time since I first found out about what Adopt Me was, I've been thinking of it as a very weird concept. Uh, it was intended to be a roleplay game at first with pets trading and stuff you know the basically it was pretty much like a simulator mixed with a rp game because you know pets trading except it was supposed to be an rp game with rp stuff you know things you would see in an rp game but what ended up happening was this place be uh, the entire game became a hub for people to just trade pets. You would, gain, you would gain pets from eggs over and over. You would spend a lot of your in-game cash on it. You know, this is the normal stuff that happened with um, a lot of simulators. That's why I was saying it was a big game with a simulator. But the entire game's roleplay aspect was taken away. If it was, if its roleplay aspect did stay, then this game would actually be pretty good. I'd say it would deserve top. But um, since its entire replay aspect uh, has been taken away and the entire community's views on it, I don't think it's that good of a game. And also, the scamming rates, the scamming rates are insanely high on Adopt Me because of its younger audience. Um, so, yeah, the scamming rates are very high on it. I mean, they are taking measures to make sure that uh, scams don't happen. But um, considering all of this stuff with their updates being absolutely massive, I cannot blame the actual the games for its updates it gets a lot of players and the roblox servers can't handle it but other than that all the other uh, reasons i've listed i think makes adopt me a pretty um well controversial game for me and basil so yeah and dix has some really good points here you see adopt me isn't the best game to be playing right now because the thing is 
All I think of Adopt Me right now is just a game where you trade pets, get scammed, get more pets, trade them for better pets, get scammed, get more pets. The cycle goes continuous. Right? And the younger audience of the game is surprisingly stupid. Honestly, like, they get scammed quite a lot in this game. And I think Adult Me is known for how much scams have been in it, but it's not as much as you guys think. Now, we have two more games. One of them including the current Roblox probably highest player game, Brookhaven. Brookhaven is... It's a game... It's just, it's a dot me. It says it doesn't have pets. And the thing is, is that it's mainly an RP game. Mainly an RP game. Because all, because there's two types of people in the game. People who just troll and just actually RP. And the thing is, is that Brookhaven is dying. And it's because of just the lack of... Of amount of amount of things to do in the game. Like I honestly think if you play this game for fun, you're just trying to look for somebody to RP with, or it could just be. I have no idea other in un, any other reason why you would play this game unless it was trolling and role play. So, and Dax will tell you more reasons why Brookhaven is super meh as a game for the amount of players that it has so basically brookhaven now brookhaven is your basically average role play gamer i could say average but considering its players it is not your average role play game like life from paradise and it's hundreds of thousands of copies um those games are generically just role play same map same everything you know brookhaven has a just a bit more uh, with a different map, that's the first thing, more mechanics and stuff. But the thing about Brookhaven is, is that it is just not that interesting to play. Like, role-playing games in general, they're, they're good, you know? They're good. Like, they're role-playing, you know, that's good. But, like, um, basically what it is, is that, um... The Brookhaven, I know it's unique and it's probably better than a hundred, it's probably better than like a lot of uh, games, roleplay games, but uh, what the thing about it is, is that it just isn't all too interesting. The character customization, it's just the things that you'd have in any normal game. Basically the things that are different is that it has like six new mechanics and a different map. So it's basically like some other roleplay games, except even more boring because of the player base um, trying to think this game is good. Except, in all honesty, here I think everyone knows that this game isn't the best it could possibly be. If they added a couple new updates, a couple new features to the game, it would probably be a respectable game. I'm not sure if it would be um, very respected, but it would be respectable. Uh, but right now, for the time being, I don't think that's what's happening with this game. It's just your normal roleplay game with like six new features, a new map, uh, instead of the same one with like every other roleplay game. And uh, and that, yeah, that's just basically it. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Big shout out to Dakes for helping me with this. And anyways, uh, I'll see you next time I upload. Peace.